Yeah, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the M26 Pershing. It's an American uh, Tier 8 medium tank, and the map is Erlenberg. Uh, this is my second game in this tank. I'm going to head up to around the bridge area, and then I'm going to take it easy. The enemy's probably not going to come up the center, but you still have to be careful. And then from here... I'm going to come up with a plan to spot enemy tanks or shoot at enemy tanks such as that one. Target acquired. The turret ring is damaged. We can barely turn it. Where'd they go? Okay, they're all going to come chasing after me now. That's unfortunately what happens once they know you're down here. That one didn't go through. Ready to fire. Target unlocked. He might be right there. Okay, I can't see. probably would have gotten some spotting damage. Um, what I probably should have done was just hit in a bush. The problem is that I'm, you know, I've been playing Tank Destroyers, a mission to get 3,000 hit points of damage. So I'm, I'm in the mode of killing and killing and killing when I really should be in the mode of hiding and hiding and hiding. So I'm going to switch my tactics and I'm, I'm going to go back to my old tactic which is to hide and spot enemy tanks uh, to avoid shooting at them and uh, we'll see if it works out. I should get a lot more um, survivability and I should get a lot more experience. Uh, Hidden Village unfortunately is not one of those maps that it is easy to do spotting on. There's no bushes to hide in. So I'm probably going to have to kill. Um, one thing I could do is I could try to kill their artillery. Most of the tanks are going to go along the edge, and very few tanks will go through the center. So going through the center is the route that I would take to go kill their artillery, which is basically straightforward. And I don't think you can go in the river on this map. I'm really not sure. Being an autoloader means that I am a very deadly tank. You can get a lot of kills with this tank. But what I love about this, they actually made these. You know, these are real tanks. You can see I got a star on my barrel. Barrel, I think, is based on how much damage you do. Which is unfortunate. I wish it were based on experience. If it were... I would get a lot of those. Target acquired. I don't see the target. Now it's a disadvantage to go over the top to hit the chaffy, so I'm gonna take the lower route. Which gives me an advantage. Come on. One of our tracks is damaged. Target acquired. Ricochet. 
So I'm going to reload. I took a hit, but worst of all, those tanks are going to sit there waiting to hit us again. They're not going to go away. So that's going to be a pain in the butt. I'm going to have to deal with those tanks. Try and spot. Ready to fire. Where did they go? Uh, too bad I missed them. So he got destroyed by the artillery. I don't want that to happen to me. Okay, this IS-2 is going to be in trouble. Well, I guess maybe I will be in trouble. He's retreating. Where is the IS-2? I don't know. Okay, the artillery should be easier to kill, so let's go for the artillery, even though I have no ammo. died, but he shot me before he died. Okay, so I got two kills. That's the T-69. I'm going to get into another game. Uh, the map was Hidden vi Village. I'm sure I did excellent on that map. Most of the tanks that I shot at, I spotted. I'm probably going to be near the top of the team. Um, okay, so I'm going to play uh, with this tank, which is a T-44. You can see my crew has three skills for for most of my crew. I'm probably going to switch my crew around a little bit. Looks like we can only play a few more games because they're going to take the server down. Okay, I'm going to make a run to try and kill those SPGs. Uh, if this tank is fast enough, I should have no problem succeeding. Um, I'm a little bit far. I didn't spawn in the best place. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go as fast as I can. I'm going to go to the area that you can look on the map. I'm going to go to the wharf area. And I'm going to run around to the enemy side where it's highlighted on the map. I'm not the one who did that. And then um, I am going to go to the enemy side. I'm going to go around the far building. And then I'm going to sit and wait a moment to let them spread out a little bit. And then I am going to head further south and I should have um, access to their artillery. And I might have to fight through whoever they have that camps out at their base. Difficult to see. Okay, there is a tank nearby that could spot me that I have to worry about. 
And if he spots me, it's going to create a big problem. And he did spot me. So now the enemy knows I'm here. And they're going to change to pursue me, and I don't want that. So I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep on going and hope for the best. Look at all these campers. Okay, so it was an unsuccessful run. They knew I was coming because I was spotted. It was just a stroke of luck that that ELC spotted me. If he hadn't done that, then um, then I would have made it through. I would have killed their SPGs. But that's the path that you take. If you look at my uh, Fisherman's Bay video for SPG hunting, what, you'll see like how many SPGs I killed. I often kill all three of them. Okay, we lost on the Hidden Village. Let's take out this T-69. And I love playing the T-69. I don't consider it a uh, grind. I don't consider it difficult. I just love playing it. It's one of the tanks I don't want to sell. When I used to see it in the game, I was always afraid of it because of all the damage it did. However, the T-69 usually cannot kill a tank of the same tier or greater. It can just... Because usually you need five shots to kill it, and this only has four. This is a great map. The T-69 is great for being in the city, where you can go around the corner, hit somebody four times, run and hide. I'm going to head towards the middle of the map, because that's where... Our you have um, the most difficulty, so people are afraid to go there. You can shoot in all directions. You can relocate easily. You don't get pinned down. You can, you can get crossfire. But it's like I said, usually there's a lot of places to hide. If you're out in an open map, I would say it's absolutely dangerous. But this is not an open map. You know, if, if there's crossfire, I can hide somewhere. So I'm going that way. And plus you can get shots on tanks that are running across. I always do it when I'm spawned in the south, being spawned in the more uh, being spawned in the north, I don't do it. I don't know the exact spot yet. I guess I would have to go this way. It's no 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 no. Hard to tell. This way. And then come across. Let's see what's going on with this guy here. He's going to be... F I won't be able to do anything with him. Okay, I'm going to go help out with these guys over here. Me against that Ferdinand, or whatever it is. He ain't going to be too happy. I could have flanked him. Could have gone right behind him. Well, he shot at me. I almost tricked him, but it didn't work. I'm not reloaded yet.
I am absolutely going to hide and reload. Sucks big time. I only got 22 hit points. He's obviously going to kill me. Now I only have 14 hit points. Okay, so finally I got him. Got 14 hit points left. Got a lot of work to do. There's bad people everywhere. There's a sniper out here. There's going to be bad news. That sucks so much. The FV-304 killed me. Uh, the AMX CDC is low armor. Yag Tigers are easy to kill. Uh, you know, we could have won this game. Okay, so uh, the artillery hit me, which is too bad. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.